Hello, in this tutorial video we'll be reviewing SIDAP's germline variant calling workflow. First you'll log into your SIDAP account, find the laboratory where you want to make your project or that your project already exists, uh, and then uh, here you'll see uh, two indexes that are already built and then two samples that have already been completed. So the first step in the germline variant calling workflow is to build that BWA index. No click add sample, select that BWA index workflow, name the index sample, and then select the base reference genome that will be used to build the index. Once that's finished building, uh, you'll go back to add sample select the latest germline variant calling workflow. Uh, again, name the sample, uh, add experimental condition, cell type, catalog number if it's available. Select that BWA index sample uh, that you just made, uh, and then select the base reference genome uh, that that BWA index was built from for IGV genome browsing. And then the last drop down is for um, again, for the genome, but this in this case it's for predicting the SNP effects with SNPF. Uh, and as with our other workflows, you'll upload data with our file manager uh, for local files that are already on your satellite, or FTP connections from the genome core, or using public uh, data such as geo-accession numbers. Then for advanced parameters, uh, you can change the ploidy of the organism you're working with, but that will generally be two uh, for humans and other animals. Um, the threads, particularly for genome alignment, this will depend on the hardware of your satellite. And then the rest of these parameters are for the base quality score recalibration, which generally can be left alone, but you can play around with them here if you desire. At this point, you can click Save Sample, and that'll begin processing. Uh, once it's finished, you will see the standard uh, overview QC plot uh, genome browser tabs up at the top. And overview, there's a few hyperlinks for summary PDFs, uh, a section for the inputs that were used for the sample, uh, some read and alignment metrics, and then variant counts. So total counts, uh, counts for SNPs and NDLs both before and after uh, base quality score recalibration. So the first PDF uh, is an insert size histogram, uh, which shows you distribution of your insert sizes. So you can check that against what's expected for your library. Second uh, contains uh, some summary reports for the base uh, quality score recalibration steps. And then the third is a summary for the SNPF program, uh, which again predicts the effects of the SNPs that were found in your sample. It has lots of different summary tables. This one breaks it down by chromosome. Uh, it gives you kind of a summary of the impact uh, broken down by percent of the variants that were identified, as well as broken down by functional class, uh, type and region, um, some confusion matrices for base changes, codon changes here, and amino acid changes, and then this histogram of uh, variants along each chromosome. We also provide a base frequency and base quality plots here, and a IGV genome browser where you can go and look at the BAM tracks uh, or all across the genome, uh, down to individual gene annotations, and then you can see the actual base calls here, and then the final uh, indel calls and SNP calls along uh, along the genome. And here the, the SNP calls are, are still loading. Um, give that a second. And then we also have this final uh, or files tab, which contains intermediate files, um, that you can download after the fact. And that's it for the germline variant calling workflow. Thanks.